Yo, that is fire. Hey guys, it's me, Bob Sagu Oi, and this is Music in Quarantine Week 5. Just before we get into the video, I want to say thank you to everyone that showed a lot of love and support for Tropical Kore. It's a mashup that I released last week as part of Music in Quarantine. This week, as a matter of fact, I was going to drop a completely different beat. However, I was looking through my archives and I came across a vocal of a legend and I couldn't ignore it. This is the late Sony Pablo. I'm going to rework this vocal in a UK garage style for you guys here today. Let's get straight into the video. So first of all, I'm going to play you the vocal. This is Gal Dildi. That is amazing. Nothing's going to come close to the original, obviously, but we're going to flip it into UK garage style and trust me, it's going to be heavy. The original tempo was in 135 BPM and that is perfect for UK garage. So we're gonna leave the tempo as it is. All I really did is compress it ever so slightly, increase the treble and lower the bass to give it that crisp. And on top of that, I added an auto tune, not that it needed it, but it just adds to the style of music that we're creating. Delay and a reverb just to give him some room. The next thing I did was create my beat. I sampled my kick. This is the pattern that I played. After the kit, I added my snare. And once again, I use Ultra Beat. One thing to note about garage music, everything was played in a swing. You could pretty much do anything you want. Add triplets anywhere, you could add breaks anywhere. And it was very sample based. There was a lot of fun. I remember when I used to produce garage music, I used to sample a lot of my kicks and my snares, pads, chords. It was just clever engineering to make it sound good. What gave garage music that characteristic is the swing. The good thing is in Logic, we have a one in 16 triplet. When I'm doing my drums, I use this swing. This is the kind of swing they used to have. So something to note. After playing my snare in Ultra Beat, I layered percussion shuffles. Doesn't sound like much, but when you play with the beat. The next thing I added was hi-hats, and for this I used both MIDI and my old samples. Played together with our kicks and our snares, and it sounds something like this. That sounds dope already. All right, the next thing I did was play some chords. I used the electric 88. A sweep. This is going to be our main progression and then go into functions, MIDI transform, humanize and the final thing I do is shorten the length of our chords because we want it to be quite snappy. The next thing I did was add a guitar and this type of guitar was very very common in UK Garage. Added a channel EQ, the auto tune a sample delay which will widen the sound of the guitar and finally a stereo delay and some reverb. Play together with our chords. underneath our chords and our guitar found a very airy pad in silent the next thing is the bass line the first bass I added was from massive the bass pattern we're going to play sounds something like this It's a very housey bass. I added a channel EQ, took out some of the bottom to 100 because we want a sub underneath. And for the sub bass, we're going to play the same pattern. Can't have a UK garage track and not have vocal chops. These were a fundamental part of UK garage music. I found a series of vocal chops that I put together. Then I took Sonny Pablo's vocal, chopped it up and made this arrangement. Yo, that is fire. Once I had my fundamentals, 
I built the rest of the track. For the first chorus, I stripped the beat back completely. I played a piano, and this is one of my favorite piano plugins, Addictive Keys. As for the kit section, I changed up the pattern. So That sounds insane. For the first verse, I thought I'd switch it up. There was a guitar that I had played for this particular track. Underneath that, I added my strings. I played an arrangement. If we play them both together, And once again drops into our garage segment. I switched up the vocal chops for the second music piece. Underneath that I had my original guitar and my piscato violin. You know it's a Bupsugu song, so it's not going to be as straightforward. I thought I'd switch it up and add a feature. I found a really slick R&B sample. Time stretched it, pitched it up. I decided to flip the beat. I used a dubstep kit. And for the final chorus, I decided to strip everything back and let the piano do the work. And finally, the last chorus. Sony Pabla and Galdildi, the UK garage banger by yours truly, Bopsagu Oi. So make sure you keep in check with my social media. I'll give you the release date for this track. Download it and blast it in your homes, in your gardens. It's all about the UK garage, especially with the late Sony Pabla. As for the a cappella this week, I'll be dropping Sajana Denal. By Puppy Gill, and that will be available to download in the description below. Thank you once again for joining me, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay notified every time I upload a new video. For myself, stay safe. Peace.